All right, welcome in. AJ, let's talk sports. We have our UFC, The Ultimate Fighter, Season 32, Episode 6, Breakdown of the show from Tuesday night. If you want to watch it live, it's going to be Tuesday night. I don't think it's live, but it comes. It drops Tuesday night at 8 p.m. every week until the season is over. And we are at Episode 6. I believe we only have four episodes left. I think there's only 10 episodes um, so just to recap, and you need to watch, you need to listen and watch my show because I have it on podcast and YouTube. So check it out, Ageless Talk Sports, same name on both. So try to recap the fights that just happened. All right, so from episode one, we had the featherweight class, R- Rody Roots defeats Guillermo Torres. Episode two, Robert Valentin destroys Giannis Batcher, and I like Giannis Batcher. Uh, episode three, Con Olfi. Our Offley defeats Nathan Fletcher via decision, unanimous decision. Episode 4, Featherweight Omran Shaban defeats Shamid Khan Magomedov via submission, uh, Anaconda Choke, uh, which is a good, really good fight, good grappling fight. Episode 5, that was, uh, I think, Omran Shaban. I don't remember where he's from. Uh, I can't think of it right now, but we went, went over it last episode, last uh, thing on my show here. Episode 5, Featherweight. Uh, Ramaska, this just happened a week ago. Ramaska defeats Bek Azad Uzmanov. Uh, we, they just call him Bek, and I'm just going to call the other guy Ramaska. So the guy at Lithuania defeats Bek by decision. Um, and then episode six, and that's what we're going to get over here. Ryan Loader versus Tom Theokaris in the middleweight division. Episode six to go to the semifinals in the middle weights. We're going to take a look at Tom Theokaris. He's actually um, Greek. He's 9 and 5, 30 years old, fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I think it's out Ontario. Ontario, I was just guessing. 7 of his 8 wins have come by a KO or TKO. The guy's a freaking beast. He can ground and pound the living crap out of you. He has good stand up. I've seen um, most of his fights here on the highlights. If you watch the whole show on Ultimate Fighter, you'll see it. And he always fights really good opponents. That's why he's got five losses. And he went through some battles here. We're going to talk about that. So if you watched his bio, he doesn't go into it a whole lot. But his girlfriend goes to Greece. I guess she falls. I tried to look it up on Google, but I couldn't find it. So she falls, hits her head, and dies. In Greece, when she was visiting there, this is back in 2021. And like I said, you can watch the show, and but we're gonna just recap it in here about a five to ten minute special for you guys to recap. Um, so I don't know. I think they dated for like four years or something like that. I don't know if they're gonna get married or plans to get married, but I'm sure they were going to. She stood by him this whole whole time and was supporting him and all that stuff, which is great. She's a beautiful woman, uh, but she passed away out in Greece. He's been battling depression, battling anxiety. I totally understand that. If you guys need help, don't worry about anybody else. Just focus on yourself because I know it was tough for me. I don't, I mean, I battle a little bit. I don't take medication or anything, but you just got to battle within yourself. Anyways, we're going to talk about Tom Theo Karras. TT. <laughs> Anyways, um, so He's been going through a lot, and his buddy uh, and, and at UFC, I, th- I think he went to UFC, Elias Theodorus or something like that. He, they're buddies, and he passed away too right around that time as well. So he had two of his closest friends, as well as best friend, his girlfriend, and his other best friend, Elias. They both passed away around the same time, I think within six months of each other. I, 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 I totally understand that. My dad passed away. My uncle passed away. Had a lot of people pass away back in 2011. 2012, 2013, it was horrible for me, and I battled it for a long time. It took about five to ten years to finally try to get over everything, and it was only, what, three years ago? He's still probably battling that within himself, but he won the Alaska Combat Entertainment Middleweight Championship twice. He doesn't play around up there in, in Canada. So, Tom Theokaris, I really liked him. These two fighters that, um, that were on this episode, episode six, were really good. Almost a tearjerker. Love these guys. And Ryan Loader. 
I want to take a look at him. Ryan Loader, he is from Roseville, California, but he fights out of Sacramento. Uh, he's 6-1. and one. He's 32. He's an older guy. He's been, uh, he trains at Alpha Team and gym founded by former UFC fighter Uriah Faber, and you'll see that on the show as well if you missed it. So make sure you check it out, ESPN Plus, um, on Tuesday nights at 8. Anyway, I don't get, I just plug in for no reason. I don't even get paid for any of that crap. But Ryan Loader out of Sacramento, he was a coach. He was a wrestler for a long time. Um, I don't know if he won state or anything back in high school, but he was a really good wrestler. Um, then he went to coaching, coached for a long time. And then he just started, I don't know, he just started getting into it. If you see it, you'll see the show and he talks about it. And uh, started late, like 28, I think he said. He was 28 years old when he started doing MMA. But he's been a big time wrestler and everything. You'll see it on the highlights here. So <laughs> he pretty much, I'm just going to get into the fight. He pretty much dominated Tom, Theo Karras. Tom, it sucks because he didn't get to show out his ability of striking he does a leg kick. This is how fast the fight goes. Bell rings. They go to the center. The kind of uh, Ryan Le Loader backs him up. Tom does a leg kick. Misses. Tom takes him down. Does a little bit of ground and pound. But Tom does a really good job blocking it. He try He's trying to fight his way into half guard against the fence. But he can't do it. And then... Um... He's tr Tom's trying to battle, trying to battle out. He gets in the half... Uh, what's his, Ryan Loader gets in the half guard, sinks in. Well, actually, he's still at mount. He stays in mount. Sinks in and uh, triangle choke. An arm triangle. Arm triangle choke and submits him pretty quickly. And I think that was probably like a minute and a half. Two minutes. Two and a half minutes tops. That was one of the quickest subs probably in the, in the Ultimate Fighter history as well. Not the fastest, but it was pretty fast. And you can check out, I told you, I promised you guys I'm going to be doing a show every single week. So hopefully you guys check me out. Hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe, dude. You guys got to subscribe to my show. Um, almost at 500. 30 more subscribers, and we're at 500 kicking off AJ Let's Talk Sports and moving up to 1,000. And that's my goal. My first goal, 500. The second goal, 1,000. And it's thanks to you guys. And once I reach 1,000, we'll probably do something special. Maybe a little giveaway or something once a year. How about that? All right. Love you guys. God bless. Tip the waitress.